Well, good morning. It's Sunday morning, so we're going to have us a, a brunch with some sausage and pancakes and eggs over the charcoal fire. So we got the charcoal going. In a couple of minutes, it'll be ready to do it. We'll uh, put the Dutch oven out and start cooking. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take a, make a little bed of coals there, like that, and just set the lid to the trusty Dutch oven down on top of it. Get it leveled up a little bit, and that thing will heat up to four or five hundred degrees. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take these uh, delicious sausage patties and put these on here, and they're going to start frying up and reseason this lid here. These are a mild pork sausage that a friend of mine gave me. He had a hog butchered and uh, had some of made into a mild pork sausage. And that's what we're having this morning with our pancakes. The other thing about sausage here is that uh, when this starts cooking, the whole campground is going to smell like fried pork. And everybody's going to come over here and go, Mm -hmm. What's that? And just like that, the sausage is done. That's eaten. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, they've been having uh, dragon boat races here today for the. Uh, local maritime museum or river museum. between the lakes we're on national forest highway 100 and we got on the elk and bison prairie which they charge you five bucks to get in looks like an animal kingdom type of drive through but anyway there it is there's the prairie where the bison and the and the elk are but uh, anyway we've been out all west and stuff and we saw some elk in Oregon, I didn't really see any bison, even though there were supposed to have been some some places. So we come here to Kentucky, maybe we'll see some. Looks like a, a bison have been here. This could be a buffalo chip. You wanna you wanna light it and see how it works on a fire? We can hear one over there, but I don't know if he'll come. If I can get my wife to do her uh, elk mating call, maybe we can get them to show up. Bison and elk uh, prairie here at Lane Between the Lakes, and uh, the volunteer says they got uh, what 46 uh, head of elk, 
And we heard a couple bugle back there, but uh, they're not out. And I said they had like 30-some head of uh, bison, which we got uh, some photographs of the bison by one of their wallows. It's Monday morning. Hmm. Excuse me, a little sip of coffee here to get going. But uh, what's significant really about today, today's the day we head home. Now, we'll have been on the road, I think, 68 days, what I calculated. Uh, about 9,200 miles, 13 states, a lot of wonderful pieces of this country. It's been great. Originally, the we sat out on these trips uh, because uh, for the last 35 years, I've been uh, working for other folks, and I've got to be able to travel a great part of this country and, and the world, actually, uh, with their money, which has been wonderful. But you never really get a chance to stop and see things you want to see, uh, spend a little more time here, a little more time there, because you're always on a schedule, customers, uh, etc. So this has been a great opportunity to kind of slow down, take things at the pace we want to take it, uh, see things we want to see, and spend the time we want to spend at places. It's been an interesting journey. After we retired about uh, 10 months ago, you know, it, it, and spent all those uh, nights in uh, hotels, on planes, uh, rental cars, it's, you know, a rather hectic way to travel, in my opinion, so we decided to get the RV. It's been great. I got an opportunity to spend a lot of time together, and we'll probably spend a little bit of video on how we uh, how we manage in this space. It'll be interesting to get back. We'll be back at... Uh, at our home for about five weeks, take care of some things there, some commitments we have, and then uh, uh, we're going out on another journey. Uh, we're going to uh, uh, head down to, to Florida for November, revisit some places we've enjoyed there, and uh, get to do those on the video blog, which I hadn't started uh, last year when we were down there, so, uh, so this will be an interesting time. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the, the videos for this, so uh, my plan is to do more. Um, uh, hopefully you'll see that I've uh, learned how to uh, edit them, uh, hopefully manage the website a little better, uh, do a little better promotion on the videos as they come out, but uh, uh, really appreciate any comments folks leave just to, to see what they're interested in. Anyway, it's been a great time. Uh, Hope you folks have enjoyed it, and uh, you know, we'll catch up with you in a little bit. There's a lock down there by Barkley Lake, too.